Pinagi sa presensya sa Mindanao Development Authority kun Minda, Asia Development Bank o USAID na permahan ang memorandum. Pinagi sa maong proyekto, i-develop ang kapin 200 hectares nga luna sa palibot sa Jensen International Airport o himuon kining usa ka integrated complex nga dunay business park, amusement park, hotels, integrated food terminals, food processing, manufacturing projects o shopping malls. At masyado marami because it will encompass big time including the airport uh, there's even a we're looking even forward to having another runway for products ganon and then also there will be a business park industrial park halo halo doon and and uh, education hub and residents also residences dili lang ang Jensen ang makabenepisyo ni ini lakip na ang tibuok rehiyon 12 pinagi sa Jensen Atropolis tumong ni ini nga makunuran ang gasto sa pagbiyahe sa mga produkto o kargamento we are we're trying to develop this for as a hub kasi ang napakalaki Mindanao is so big if you just put one uh, the cost of uh, logistical cost of transporting is going to be high. So you better put something that's near para yun yung labasa ng mga produkto. Sa maong proyekto, mahimong General Santo City Industrial Complex ang Jensen Airport o usa ang Jensen Airport sa major international gateway sa Mindanao. The Aerotropolis will present a lot of economic activities and opportunities for people to be part of, not only in, in terms of uh, uh, investing into specific projects like uh, logistics, uh, parks, IT, etc., but uh, to really participate in the in all uh, aspects of uh, of uh, production and uh, and uh, consumption. So uh, this is where we see um, the the people benefiting from uh, developments such as this. So the uh, the Aerotropolis is a vision. And it's a, it's a very important vision. How we get there is, you know, this is where we need to do the detailed planning, assessments, feasibility studies. And, and that will give you a better sense as to when you realistically can expect this to, uh, to, to materialize. But, but also, uh, and as you move along, that's when you get a sense as to what, uh, what private, sector, what private sector is willing to put into this as well. Well, na, because it's under study, you know, uh, pag-aaralan kung ano ang pangangailangan, kung sino ang kailangan ma, ma, na itap mo to cooperate, yung mga ganon. Pa, na, uh, it's a concept that is going to be, that will evolve eventually into a reality. Sa maong pinirmahanay, ana ang presensya sa mga LGU sa Rehiyon 12, negosyante, DepEd o private sector. Faith Dandoy, Brigade News.